Hello, everyone. Uh-oh, okay. Having a little internet trouble, maybe, here on this end. Poor wire. Hi, Janet. Hi, Connie. Nice to see you guys. Um, it is already saying a weak internet connection. Um, hi, Susan. So, um, and Sue, hello everyone. Oh, let's give everyone a minute to get on here and then I'll say. Good evening, Jeanette. Good evening, Paula. Hi, guys. We're going to have fun tonight. This is, I found this on Pinterest and I've never seen this. A belt buckle. Wait. Okay, um, this, some, we are going in about an hour. We are going to have a major storm come through here. So my internet says that it's having trouble connecting and I know that it's from what's coming. Um, the things are out all over the bottom of the TV due to poor wireless connection. So just try to hang in here with me tonight. I'm sorry if it goes in and out. Uh, we'll do the best we can. Hi, Brenda. Hello, Judith. Hi, Mary. <clears throat> Hi, Kelly. I hope you guys have been doing well. We've been doing good. My daughter and I. Um, hi, Gloria. My daughter and I went to Walmart this oh, with this round and round. Okay. Hi, Wendy. Hello, hello. Hi, Laura. Diana, nice to see everyone. Thank you so much. And okay, and so like I'll just keep you up to date. Um, hi, Donna. Um, we are going in about an hour. We're going to be having a major storm come through here. And my internet is kind of wishy-washy. Okay. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Donna. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Hi, Sandra. And okay. All right. I think it's going in and out, but I think I'm hoping that on your all's end, it's okay. So anyway, first what we're going to say um, from last week, this is the giveaway. It's for here last week so all four of these cards are the giveaway for this week very pretty hi vicky hi mary so this is the giveaway for this week let's go ahead and pick someone hi judith doing well happy to be i'm very happy we go let's pick yes is this uh, yeah i bet you're gonna get hit with it first right sandra before me Yes, thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Tennessee, also. So here, we'll mix this up. Let's get us a name. Here we go. Who is this this week? Carol Watson. Carol, I will be sending you these four cards. Wonderful. Okay, fantastic. The giveaway for this week is this card. It is a belt buckle card. Oh, thank you. I love creating. I really do. I've been busy creating my Happy Crafting Card Kit class. That's not up yet. Um, yes, I know it's going in and out. I can't help it. It's the it's the connection. It it is my end. I just want you guys to know it is not your all's end. Um, it is my end. Um, so this is called a belt buckle card. I was so this. I love this. Yes, I am losing you. I'm so sorry. It it looks like it's a little constant now. So that opens like that. And it folds in here like it's a belt buckle. Isn't that fun? I, I have never seen anything like this. So fun, right? Hi, Deborah. Kathy. Uh, yes, you are losing me in and out. I am so sorry. Um, I'm going to continue. We'll just keep going. I hope maybe you guys will hang in. Whenever I see a pop up, I'll stop. Okay, so this is the card. And the giveaway is this card and then some goodies right here. I've got some vellum butterflies, some circle cutouts, just some things that are cut out, some perennial essence flower pieces that are in there, just some stuff, okay? And this card, and that'll be for next week, okay? So that you guys can start to craft. I like to send you guys things that like you might use it on a card sent me this let me see how I could work around this and use your things you know use your crafting things and go ahead and create something now my um, free card kits for this month I'm doing a little something different this month so I'm really kind of happy with this um, here is the here is one of them and this is fun so how you get these is you place an order with me become a downline that's where you purchase the starter kit or become a paper pumpkin subscriber and um oh, thank you janet and and then you receive these free cards no stamped images these are just the images that i chose to use they are set up to where you can use any image that you want so this is what you get 
That's the first one. You get the envelope. Now, here's the second one. <clears throat> And I had a lot of DSP, but I didn't have enough. Like I always like to do like one card, everything the same, right? So I didn't have enough. So I, okay, there, it went out down back. Okay. <laughs> um, if I change the DSP every time, it's the same, um, pattern. Okay. Of the card. Hi, Carol. Um, are you on the giveaway, Carol? So you will receive these four cards that we made last week. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so there we go. Oh, Susan, I had it. I had it from something else. I've already mailed it to you. you sh maybe you'll get it Monday. From This second card right here, every time that someone places an order, I'm going to change the DSP. Because watch, it. I backed everything with black so that that was constant. But it looks fantastic with all and any of these DSPs that I use, any of this designer series paper that I use. So if you place like two orders, hi Glenda, orders with me, the other card, the front will always change just a little bit with the DSP. So I thought that was kind of fun for this month. So, um, and it helps me to you like, wait a minute, okay, I'm about to order new paper and I have all of this, let me go ahead. Uh, what are the stamps you used? I used on the free ones, um, let's see. Uh, this is So Sentimental. This one is So Sentimental. And I used uh, Daisy Lane for the inside. So So Sentimental on the outside, Daisy Lane on the inside. And then this one I uh, used, where's my other one that I had? Oh, here. Okay. This one I used um, Wittyisms because that one is leaving. That one is going to retire and it's a $100,000 set. And then I just used the Daisy Lane again on the inside and just made really pretty flowers. So I had fun. I had a hard time getting it to start tonight. I've been, oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the oval is the large oval. The stitched, I took the largest stitched oval. Again, okay. Uh, I did the largest stitched oval and then the scalloped that went with it, the layering oval right here. This is the stitched and this is the layering of the ovals that I used. So, um, but yeah, so that's kind of, that was kind of fun for this month, just a little Okay, and now remember, if you have ordered from me in the past six months, which let me tell you, this is my largest, this is amazing. I have to order 50 catalogs. I'm not, okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> I'm not using the mailing selector uh, this time with Stampin' Up because I had trouble with it last time and a lot of people didn't get catalogs. So I am purchasing myself 50 catalogs. They are coming here. I am addressing them myself, putting a little, like a wish list in there for you, and I am mailing it to you, for, but it will come from me. And, uh, okay, I have my list, so I know who I have sent a catalog to. Okay, so let's go with this card. This is so much fun. So much fun. I use the ornate style because I absolutely love this new stamp sets right here. I use that. You know, I just use the little thing right here, the little bracket. And then my saying, I took the thanks. And then in here, I took the, your kindness is so loved. And so, and everything is in mint macaron and black and gold because of this um, paper right here that's in that designer series paper stack. See, the other side of it is this. So hi again. Okay, now I'm on again. Okay, so the other side, so that's just the other side of that. So a lot of fun there. Let's talk about, <clears throat> let me bring my pad in here. So let's talk about size. The base right here, okay, and what I'm going to do is when I sit down with this later on tonight or tomorrow, um, uh, probably be tonight, I'm going to go ahead and put all of these on, I'm going to put all of these dimensions, um, yeah, still having problems going in and out, I know, thank you Gloria for hanging in there, we have a storm coming. Okay, I'm on again. <laughs> um, it is definitely on my end, and it is definitely my internet that this is going on with. Thank you, Deborah. Okay, so I will put the measurements um, on, like right. I will put the measurements right under this video. Okay, for you guys, so that you could copy them down. The base is eight and a half, eight and a half by four and a quarter, and we're scoring. 
Okay, we're scoring at three. Eight and a half by eight and a half by four and a quarter scored at three. So it makes that little flap right there. Okay, now we have to decorate. Okay, so I'm using basic black, and this is. Yeah, yeah, we're expecting really, really strong storms coming through here. They said something about it. It looked like a hook echo or something like that, which means that there's a lot of wind. So I'm thinking that's why I'm having internet trouble. Um, but this is basic black at two and three quarter by four. We're going to make a pretty layer. So this is two and three quarter by four. The DSP that goes on top of that is two and a half by three and three quarter. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's put the DSP on top here. I'm so excited for the new catalog. I am so excited that I get to order this week. I have never in my whole time being with Stampin' Up, I have never been home to order. Like be the first, you know, like be early to, um, to get to order. So this is my very first time with that and I am very extremely excited. I heard that if we are demonstrators that the list for what we are allowed to order. Now this goes right on the outside flap of the card. What we are allowed to order, the um, pre-order list should be up. Um, hi, hi, Lynn, thank you. So the pre-order list should be up. The wing is the wind is picking up there, yeah, uh-huh. Cleared here in New Jersey, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, wow. Um, Yes, yeah, so we should get our pre-order list um, anywhere between 3 and 5 a.m. in the morning. It should be uploading, and this, from what I understand, from what I saw today. So um, when I get up in the morning, I'm hoping that I will be able to see the pre-order list. So that's fun right there. And now, let's see. Let's go ahead and do the inside of our card here. We have two pieces here, basic black, five and a quarter by four, regular whisper white, five by three and three quarter. Then we have this piece of, um, this is all mint macaron. And this piece right here is a five and a half by one and three quarters. Five and a half this way by one and three quarters this way. And it is scored at a quarter. Yeah, the weather's great in California, right, Diana? That's nice. <laughs> We're all the way over here on the other side. Isn't that amazing how our weather can just turning into something really bad, our weather is just about to do it, right? So, okay, let's go ahead and stamp Mint Macron. And um, I want to go up in this corner right here with my thanks, right here. I bet you always have a lot of good weather in California, do you? Um, I know my daughter worked out there a long time. That, oh, that's so pretty, I love that Mint Macron. She said, my daughter worked out in California, and she said that it was, um, oh, it's really warm in South Carolina. Hi, Helen. Uh, yeah, so um, it was very smoggy. Like, you could, she was right on the ocean, and you, she was like, when I, you get up in the morning, you can't even see the ocean. Okay, your kindness is so loved. I love that. And now we're going to put our little bracket here. I love this little swirly bracket just like that. So we're just gonna concentrate on the inside of the card right now. It's good, oh, you're moving. Warm but very windy here in the mountains in Colorado, okay. Oh, bet you'll be up at three, right, Glenda? You know me. <laughs> and, and Gloria, yes, it's been a perfect day today in Upper East Tennessee. It was 81 degrees. And I mean, it was, what am, I don't need to put that away yet, I don't think, no, okay. Two here. We wanna do this first, right? Yes, okay, I'm just looking at what I did. This is only the second one I've made. You know me, I go by a wing and a prayer. I make it once, I'm like, yeah, that's good. I'm like, I'll get on here with you guys and then I'll get the, get everything going. Beautiful here in North Carolina. Oh, the beaches are open. I hear they were packed this week and I stayed home. Oh, yeah. I'm, um, I'm a little concerned. Just This is just me. Um, I'm a little concerned that everybody is really going out a lot and there is a lot of a lot going on at this point. 
I feel it's best with my health that I just kind of hang at home for another couple of weeks and see what happens and see what happens with numbers. So, and you know, things going on because we had less than a thousand people around here. So that's okay. Okay, so this is gonna go on the inside of the card, but first we need to put our mechanism on here. So that's why we scored just a quarter of an inch here. This piece again is a five and a half this way, five and a half this way, one and three quarter this way, scored at one quarter. And the reason why we just scored at a quarter is because before we attach that, we want to attach this on here. Okay, that's our belt. So now I'm gonna just flip this over and I wanna put just a little bit of Tombow right here. Okay, I'm back. I keep trying to, I keep stopping. If I see my thing go round and round, I just stop. Okay, now I'm folding this in and letting that adhere so that it gives us our belt. Little mechanism right there, that's so cute, right? And now we could go ahead and put this on our card. Let me move this, I don't need that at this point until we do our envelope. Well, even if we do our envelope, I don't know. I'm trying to get away from using it here, you know, because it's uh, retiring and I can't order anymore. I meant to try the Stamparatus one just to try it out. Okay, so that goes there. Make sure when you put this on here, okay, make sure right here that this will close. Okay, so make sure that this over here gives you enough room to close that. All right, so that's how that is finished now. How do we make the belt? It's so simple. So I took, uh, what I saw on Pinterest is they took this classic label punch, they put it in here, and they put it, like fold your card out, put it all the way up, put it all the way until it stops here at the bottom. Okay, put it right there. And then punch, just like that. That makes, watch this, this is so fun for the belt. Isn't that cool? That is so much fun. All right. Now, these little pieces are what is going to decorate our belt, but you don't have to come all the way over here because you want a like, okay, think about like a belt buckle. Okay. So that's what you're trying to make here. So that's why this is going to come here. And that's why this piece is short. So this is basic black. I know, right? I love the belt. Okay, basic black at one and a half by three, and then DSP at one and a quarter by two and three quarters. And this is just gonna layer on this. We're just layering just to bring our, um, we're just layering just to bring the gold with the black up um, so that it, it just enhances that gold, especially too with that mint macaron. I think the black looks wonderful behind it. Really frames it out nicely. We're gonna put it here and we're gonna leave a little um, uh, border of mint macaron. So it should be mint macaron, black, and DSP. Designer series paper. I have to remember, sometimes I talk about things like everybody knows what I'm talking about. And, you know, I was once new to Stampin' Up. I didn't know what anything was. So I have to try to back up a little bit, right? <laughs> From new people. Right there. Okay, so here we go. Now, I took this. This is a circle framelit the layering circle framelits, and then this is the round circle, okay? Um, and I'm not really sure what sizes, I should have kept them out. Um, 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 let's find them. Let's go ahead and find these. That one, so here's, here's the circle, the plain circle because I know that these are not just the largest, okay? This is the plain, one of those circles. And then um, the, the scalloped. And that's it right there. So these layered just like this, okay? There's that one and that one. So it's these two. Right there is what I used for these. So very nice. <clears throat> Let me get these out of the way. And now we'll layer this in here. Because these are not the exact, you know, the largest ones. And I don't know how many they are from the middle. A lot of people say, you know, it's like the third one from the middle. 
we could look at that in just a second. So I layer this on here, just like that. That's gonna go here. Now, it, it, it doesn't matter what style that you use here, whether it be a circle, a square, or an oval. But what you want it to do is be big enough to cover your cutout. You know, like you don't want a smaller little circle and then these, these, uh, that white space kind of show, okay? So no matter what, just keep looking at it. And you kind of want to think of a belt buckle. And that's what I came up with. But then that was too plain for me. So, of course, I came in with my Daisy Lane, my little Daisy. I'll wait, okay. The little punch, the small one. And I did a gold one and a one in mint macaron. So let's go ahead. And I want the mint macaron on top of the gold. And we'll use a glue dot. Right here. This we'll put here. And then here. And I want to alternate my petals. So it's through. Just like that. Then I'm going to take these petals and roll them up with my bone folder. Just for them, just to give them a little, just a little oomph there. And then we're gonna put a full size dimensional on the back. That's gonna hold it nicely. Our card in, we'll bring our circle in actually. Put this in the center. And then I'm gonna use one of the gold faceted gems that came in that suite and that make uh, that gem, one gem just makes that, absolutely makes that just cute. Hi, Lily. I know, right? The black and the gold are real. This really, really look great. And you know, how putting the, now I'm gonna put um, two dimensionals right here. I was doing my free card kits and I was thinking about what to back those up with that would be neutral that everything would go with. And of course I came up with black and then I started putting this card together. So, wait, I want to, okay, I'm back. The <laughs> two dimensionals out here on the buckle. You want to put these on while this is closed so nothing gets in the way. Now you want to take this and put it right here. And here is our buckle card. It's, the, it's so simple, not a difficult card at all, but has a really cute wow factor. So, Let's go ahead and decorate our envelope here. So just cute, cute, cute. You know, and that is a great way. I start, I just had to use more of this um, on my envelope than just in a corner. They're so pretty, just so pretty. Thank you, Georgiana. And then I'm going to put this here and then this one here. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love these cards came out so stinking cute tonight. Um, let me bring in my magnet sheet here. I wanted to see where they kind of fit of things here. So that one circle is the second one in over here. Like here. Maybe that one goes over there. Sometimes I get these so mixed up, right? But I know that they're in their little envelope and I'm fine with it. So it's actually this one. Yes, so it's this one. Okay, there we go. And then this scalloped one. I got these um, totally Tiffany um, envelope kind of things. So that would be the second one in on that side, right there. So yeah, I started, um, doing these on my, um, on this totally Tiffany sheet. It's a magnet sheet. Kind of isn't that, um, it's really light. It holds them really light. So then sometimes I just wind up stuffing them in the envelope, but I'm happy that I, this was a real, something I really needed to do. And I only did this to the ones that, um, that I use all the time, like the round and the square and the this and that. Other than that, everything stays in their envelopes like this. So, but that's what I've done there. And we'll, you know, just kind of testing that out to help organize a little bit better. I kind of like it. 
Um, I like that I numbered them because I could, I just know like, okay, can you, do you hear me now? I know that it's a, it's rough with the weather coming in. So sorry. Well, here is our card for tonight. Those, uh, yes, Judy, they are. And they are, um, I got them on HSN. They're called Totally Tiffany. Um, here are our cards. I use this set. I use this ornate set like, like crazy. I use this crazy. Look at what I did the other day. I sat and I just made a bunch of thank yous because I absolutely love using it. I made all of these th just because I could. I, you know, I was, I was like, oh, I like this. Um, and so now I have to make cards to go behind them. But yeah, I just, I love um, using, let's see, different ones. I have boards with magnet sheets. Uh-huh. Yeah, I thought about doing a magnet board here in the craft room, and I might do that. Um, yeah, but for right now, those were inexpensive, and it helped me to organize better. So for right now, I'll say that. They're not perfect, but for right now, they're okay. Um, so here is our card. I so apologize about this internet in and out, in and out. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Judy. They're so fun. I ho when I put, po I'll post all of the measurements, okay? And not hard to make at all. Not a difficult card. And you know what I think would look so cute with this is this starts with art. Because you can embellish the outside of it with like the pens or something like that. I thought that's a really cute set and um, DSP to do. So I sure do appreciate every one of you hanging in here with me while all of this went on with the internet. And I believe I might have, let's see, those ones from Walmart come in plastic storage case. The ones, the ones from Walmart come in a plastic storage case? Wait a minute. Oh yeah, this is Mother Nature at its finest tonight. I know, right? I, okay, so like I was going to use the vent covers. How expensive are they? Oh, you should make one with art two or four. Thank you. Before it's gone. Yes, I know. This starts with art, right? Because that would look really cute, like on the buckle. Really, really cute. Just adorable. I agree, Laura. So now, wait a minute. I missed a comment back here. The ones from Walmart come in a plastic storage case. Um, are you talking... The, the magnets come in a plastic storage case, Gloria? Because I'll look at Walmart or I'll look online. I'm always looking for something to help me to organize a little bit better. I have to admit, when I got my Stampin' Storage, when or not Stampin' Storage, I was thinking about getting Stampin' Storage, but these, like where I organized my ink and everything with Stampin' Up, that really helped right there. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. At Walmart. Okay, I will look. Three large size you can cut down for about $6. Oh, okay. I'll look for those. Oh, yeah, pretty peacock. You know, that would look fantastic, wouldn't it? That would look great on here. Okay, and you got yours from Stampin' Storage. Yeah, yeah, too. Online from Walmart in crafts. Okay, I'm going to look for that for sure. I'm always looking for good product and inexpensive product, you know, to, to help with. Because you know I just craft out of a little corner over here. It's not really a big space. I know a lot of people need buildings and they need a lot of area and everything. I just, that's so, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm in what used to be my daughter's bedroom. Isn't that funny? But it's great. It works, you know, and I'm happy and it's com I'm comfortable and yeah. Oh, thank you, Gloria. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Okay, so guys, please be safe. I will be back on live on Tuesday. Get nine from one package. Okay, that, okay, so you get the vent covers at Lowe's. And they have a lot of storage items as well. Yes, yes, Judy, exactly. I need the stuff that I need, like, to be handy. I have in a cart over here, and I just pull the cart to, to me. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah, I, re I need things really close to me. I'm not that, like, if I have to, like, walk across the room to get something, I'm like, wait a minute, okay? What can I use that's really close to me that's just like that? 
So I like to have everything really close. This way I can use everything. But I just love these cards. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, these, and I hope you will try SP. We really did a monochromatic thing here, kind of with the um, the mint macaron, you know, uh, using the ink color and the paper. But this would you could jazz this up; it would look adorable. Thank you so much again, everyone. Please stay safe. I will see you next week at seven, and check me out around the week of let's see, YouTube Live on Tuesday at ten. Facebook Live, 10 o'clock on Wednesday, and then Sunday here back with you guys. I work from my bedroom, also craft room. Yes, okay, <laughs> I'm comfortable. Is the label punch still available? Uh, let me check. I, I'm glad you asked me. Let me just get I'm marked in, right? Yep. Um, punches. Oop, I'm going the wrong way. Here it is. Classic label will be staying with us. That is the classic label punch right there. Okay, 141491. 141491. And that will be that is that is not retiring. That's staying with us. So that's good. That's a good little punch. You know, you could do there's a lot. It's a good size. Yes, Laura. Yes. Yes, it is. I, I totally agree. Especially, you know, like um, some of these are really skinny. Like, I love this. So here's a card. I think that's so cute, right? Um, but these are really skinny. And so they would fit. And that, may, that makes it you know, off to the side of a card or something. Wonderful. Okay, guys, have a fantastic week. Please stay safe. Um, uh, not yet. The weather's not bad yet here. It's starting to cloud up and it was really windy and now it's died down to nothing, which then tells, yeah, that kind of tells me something's coming because I know this area and the weather in this area with the mountains and this and that. So yeah, sometimes it can, sometimes the mountains hold everything off and you know, it hits the mountains and dissipates into nothing. We've got all these, you know, warnings up and this and that, but, um, you know, sometimes the mountains just break it up and then we're okay. So it all depends, but they seem to think it might get a little fierce within about an hour or two. So I, I tend to kind of agree with them at this point. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, all right, guys, have a wonderful week. I'll see you back here um, next Sunday and on and Tuesday on YouTube. Thanks again for watching. Please have a wonderful, happy crafting week.